All right, this one's gonna be on XClip copy file. It's a uh, command line way to do copy and pasting, uh, just like how you would in the GUI. So let me show you the GUI way so you can compare it here. So normally when you have your GUI here, you know, you right click on something and you have the cut, copy and, and all that. So let's say we copy this thing here and you would move to a different directory like this and then you do right click and then you paste it right we all get that idea now in the command line way you usually have to use like the cp command or the mv command to um, you know simulate copy and pasting but this one is actually does it like the gui way but in the command line way so let me give you an example here we'll list out a couple of files and let's say we want to copy um what is that this um linux sc file here how do we do that we do uh, we use this program called xclip and um it actually has this other um you know, that commands with it so it has the copy files it has the cut files and the paste files so we're going to do a copy first right and if you want to copy the linux uh what's the sc file here right we'll copy it and it copies it so if you list it out again um you know you still have your you know your linux here right but let's say we cd into our uh, download folder and now all you gotta do is uh, type in what's that xclip uh, paste and guess what it's gonna do it's gonna paste that linux file here and now if we list this out you see it has these linux sc file um so that's how you can do it and it's a little bit different from the cp command and uh, was it the mv command because you don't actually have to type out uh, where is it going first um, you know in one line so you have your source and your destination you don't have to do that shit uh, this is how you assimilate that just like you do in the GUI right so simple as that anyways let's go back to this here now it's the same thing with if you you know you select multiple files in the GUI if you want to do that here it's pretty much uh, the same thing I guess if you do xclip and uh, what we do here copy file and if you want multiple files uh, let's say we do I don't know um, this uh, screenshot uh, 9 here right and also we want to let's say copy my class uh, PDF here so multiple files so you go okay hit enter and that's it it copies it to your clipboard and now you can change it to you know whatever folder you want to go to so let's go to our downloads folder again and we'll list it out here see we don't have those files all you gotta do is type in xclip what's that paste and it will paste those two files uh so multiple files you can do that too right and now you have those two files there uh if you want to do what is that i don't know what else if you want to do was that um, wild cards you can do that too so x clip copy and we'll do was that all the log files so all these uh one that has a log at the end right you can do that so you do all uh was that a wild card which is a star dot log and you hit enter and it's going to copy it to your clipboard and now you just um you know go to a different folder Right now it has nothing, but if you do xclip, what's that, paste, it's gonna paste all those log files, right? And there you go. Uh, same thing with cutting. So if you wanna cut something, let's say for example, we do xclip um, cut file, and you do, let's say this sound.png uh, here. So you cut that thing, and it should not, yeah, see, it cuts it out from um, the list here. But before it had sound, now it doesn't. So you cut that thing, and let's say we go into our home folder here, and we're just gonna do xclip uh, paste, and it's gonna paste the sound uh, dot png here, right? So that's how you do cut and pasting. They do have some other options in here with uh, xclip copy file. Uh, they do have this other one called a dash p for preserving information uh, anything else you need to talk about 
Oh yeah, you can do uh, folders, you know, folder structure, not just single files, you can do folders and um, it'll copy it recursively and all that. So that's pretty much it for the program really. It's a little bit different from the, uh, you know, the, the CP and the move command, which I talked about a long time ago. And it's also different from the xclip command alone, because xclip is only for uh, handling your clipboard manager, which is mainly like text files. Uh, not to be confused with, you know, xclip. Uh, well, let me show you the whole list here. Let's see here. The package is still called xclip, though. If you go into your package manager, just search for xclip. However, it will include, um, you know, the original xclip. It also includes the copy file, cut uh, files, and paste files. So these are the three things we're just talking about for uh, this screencast only. This one I made a video a long time ago. If you want to watch how to, you know, manage clipboards uh, from the command line, you can do that. But anyways, that's uh, what I learned just like I think 30 minutes ago. I don't know, by accident, but it's pretty cool if you want to do the GUI cut and pasting, uh, you know, simulation from the command line. Um, so that's it for this one.